state of our economy right now is a little worrisome. The Fed rates are up and we are currently in a recession. Yes, we are in a recession. And we can try to change the numbers all we want or change the definition of a recession all we want, right? We're not changing any numbers because the numbers don't lie. So what is going to happen with the housing market? Are we going into a housing crash? I can tell you right now that things aren't looking too hot for a lot of people for the future, but that doesn't mean that the data and the numbers won't change tomorrow. So is it a good time to buy? It depends. Some people you talk to are gonna say, no, it's a horrible time to buy. Save your dimes, save your pennies. The world is about to end. People are gonna be saying that. And I've heard so many people tell me that literally the world is going to end, that our economy is going to completely co collapse in the next few months. It's the end of the world. You guys, this is the thing. We don't know. We don't know exactly what's going to happen tomorrow, just like with anything else. But I can tell you that the data and the numbers do not lie. The truth is we see the numbers, we see the stats and the data, but nobody knows exactly what the future holds. So it all comes down to if you are needing a home and you want to purchase a property and you see yourself living in that property for more than five to 10 years with your family, then heck yes, buy today. Because what goes up must eventually come down and what goes down will eventually have to go back up. You guys, this is something, this is just history. If you look back, it's, it's just like a roller coaster. It goes up and it goes down. This is normal. What these last couple years were in this crazy seller's market, now now that was not normal. <laughs> the, the Fed were pretty much giving out free money left and right. That was not normal. A lot of people purchase homes that they may have not been able to afford if their interest rates were what they are today. So don't allow this fear porn that you guys are seeing from a lot of people and a lot of other realtors online. Don't, don't, don't let it freak you out. Don't let it scare you into not making the best decision for yourself and your family. I can tell you what I am doing right now is diversifying my portfolio. I'm purchasing a property. I'm getting gold. I'm getting silver. You guys want to make sure you're diversified. You want to make sure you have something to your name. Real estate is a great investment, especially if you see yourself living there five to 10 to 20 years down in the future. It's a great way to build generational wealth and to protect your family for generations to come. It's one of the the best ways to make sure that your family is protected over the years. This is your home and no one can take it away from you. As long as you know going into this that you are safe and you're not bringing your head underwater. That's the one thing I tell all of my clients when they are going to purchase the properties, make sure you're not living above your means because anything can happen in the world. Anything can happen. And what's the number one thing that happens in a recession is a lot of people start losing their jobs. So make sure you guys are protected before you start doing anything. That's the best advice that I can give right now. And do what you feel is best for you and your family. So when we're talking about the housing market, you guys, I want to make sure that you guys aren't feeding into all of the fear that is out there with the housing market. Should you buy? Should you not buy? Just dive down deep and figure out, okay, what's best for my family? What do I need to work on? What, what exactly do I need to do to make sure that my family is protected at the end of the day, right? If that is to move to Arizona and to be able to purchase a property so that way you and your family are in a better area to live, a better school district, and you're able to live the lifestyle that you guys want to live, then do it because usually if you're if you have that mindset you're probably going to be here longer than a year or two right you're going to be here for a few years because you want your kiddos to get acclimated to the schools and make friends and build a life here. So if that is what you guys wanna do, then yeah, buy a house now. And there's ways around these interest rates. Keep in mind, you guys, that there are sellers offering 15, 20, $30,000 in sellers concessions to be able to help buy down your down payment as a buyer, as well as your interest rate to buy down points. So instead of having an interest rate that's at 7%, you can get an interest rate at 5.3%, for example, depending on how much money that seller is willing to give for seller concession. So keep that in mind, you guys. This isn't just an end all. This isn't just the at the end of the day. You know, there, there are options available for you to be able to purchase a property. And if you guys have questions, always give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I'm here to help serve and support you guys at the highest possible level and beat out any of these fears or any of the stress that you guys are having, as well as getting you on the phone with my mortgage lender. That way he can explain to you exactly 
exactly what we can do to make it so that you guys can come out and purchase that property without having your heads to be below water. We are not commission breathers. We do not want to sit here and say, hey, yes, go purchase that property because we want to have a sale. That's just not how it is. We want you guys to do the best thing that's for you. And that's what we're here for. We are part of your team. So that's, that's a little rant for me, <laughs> but we want to make sure that you guys know that because we want you guys to be able to be protected and supported at the highest possible level, like I always say. So yes, the numbers and the data and everything is a little scary. It's a little worrisome. We're not sure exactly where we're going, but just like with at the beginning of 2020. So as far as the housing market right now, if we're looking at the future and looking at the data and looking at the numbers, we're seeing the market possibly make a 20% correction in the future. We we don't see it necessarily crashing, but again, anything can happen in the near future. And just like how interest rates go like this, just like how the housing market goes like this, so can exactly what I just said. So keep that in mind, you guys, whatever information is out there, if someone is saying, hey, the housing market is going to crash, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is true. The number one thing that we all focus on at the end of the day was, are we safe? Do we have our income coming in? Do we have a roof over our heads? And are we are we protected, right? And that was that was it. And I just want to kind of give you guys like that same type of mentality. And yes, obviously keep an eye on the numbers, keep doing your research, keep doing what you need to do to be able to stay informed on what's happening, but don't allow it to literally take over your lives and to make that decision for you. Um, because sometimes it, it's not. Sometimes some of these people are putting out there like <laughs> the housing market's gonna crash and we're all gonna lose our money. And that is just not the case. Everybody has a different scenario and the market is always great for a certain home. And the market is always good. It's just good for a certain home buyer at a certain time. So for these last couple of years, when it was a huge seller's market, guess what? If you had no down payment, you probably wouldn't be able to purchase a home these last couple of years. But because now it's not a huge seller's market, we're more in a neutralized going into a buyer's market, hopefully very soon, then guess what? You as the buyer have more power to be able to purchase a home if you have less down payment. And the reason being is because now we can ask for seller credits. That is that 20, 15, $20,000 I was saying that you can ask the seller to buy down your interest rates. So that is a lot of information in a pretty long eight minute video. Um, but do you guys have any questions? Give me a call. I can explain this in more depth and detail. And keep in mind, the market is always changing. So this video may not be green and be true in the next six months or in a year, but this is just an update as of October of 2022, going into the end of the year, the fourth quarter of the year. So I hope this helps. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, and if you guys are looking to move here, you're not sure what area is best for you, you're not sure exactly what's happening, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I am here to help serve and support you guys at the highest possible level and answer any questions that you may have. If you wanna hop on a call with our lender, we can definitely make that happen as well. And we're not here to push you, we're not here to pressure you. We're here to literally help you guys and answer as many questions as possible. So give me a shout out, here's my number below. And if you guys are looking to move here, comment below, moving, M-O-V-I-N-G. That way I can comment back with the link to a home buyer's moving guide to the state of Arizona for you guys. It gives all of the information about closing costs, how the offer process works, how the in earnest money deposit works, the inspection period, appraisal period, all of that.